Hello, my name is Robin. Thank you so much for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. We are doing an angel card reading for the energy of January 2020. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't, please do. I very much appreciate it. And you can go to robinsealing.com and uh, check out some of my services that I offer. Hathorn, Balance Elemental Kingdom. So first thing I'm feeling with January is that we need to be constructive. We need to be positive with each other. Um, you know, if you're a person who's very sensitive, you may find that this is a great time for energy work. It's a great time for finding solutions to problems, so getting readings, things like that. Um, just tapping a bit more into our creative resources. Um, if you want to start a new beginning as well, obviously it's a great time, but it feels like we're building foundations for ourselves. Um, if you want to help other people, this is also a great time because I feel like it's a time for giving and prosperity still. So if you're feeling like your energy is not ideal right now, what I would suggest for you is just getting some getting some healing because you're gonna find that um, the energy can shift really quickly in January okay next thing autumn so this person has a basket of fruit and she actually looks like she's moving forward with it so I look at this as um, her embracing the things that she has her she is embracing the things that she does, who she is, that sort of thing. At least she's trying to. So going back into new endeavors, things that you, you're you looking forward to doing, um, I think it's about looking at things just a little bit deeper. So don't make decisions too quickly. Really look into it just a tiny bit deeper. Education is really important as well in January. You're probably going to be feeling like... Maybe your energy, um, I wouldn't say it's going to be high as much as it is that you may feel like a bit more sensitive than normal. So it's about using that sensitivity to your advantage, okay? Um, and just know that healing is not a weakness either. Fire, transmutation, purification. So this is talking about, um, like, you can always move forward with your education as well, no matter what age you are. So don't ever feel like this is the end of the road for you when it comes to learning. Um, because I feel like even if you've learned a lot, there's always more to learn. And so it's about uh, reconnecting with, with old teachers, mentors, uh, also going back into decisions that maybe you did that you weren't proud of or decisions that you wish that you made, you may find that you can still go back and correct some of those mistakes or things that, you know, you wish you did differently. Now is the time to go back and do those things, all right? So it's about creating a platform for yourself. Aside from education, this is also about emotional growth. So if people have done things to you, very traumatic things, it's about um, still identifying with it. That's a part of who you are too. So um, surrounding yourself by people, also like educators that can help you feel more um, satisfied and gifted with your own with your own life, so that you can create more prosperity and abundance. All right, so uh, there will be a, a full moon in January, as there always is. And what I would recommend is spend more time on owning yourself, right? Res taking responsibility for your own actions, but like being an individual, really working on, you know, separating yourself from everybody else and really feeling like that is the the mistakes that you've made are what have made you and that those are incredible gifts that that have happened also so uh exploring your versatility uh exploring your voice a bit more um so obviously there are layers to this and it just depends on how deep you want to go okay but there's there's going to be a lot of um openings for you I feel like opening up if you're willing to all right so I hope that you guys have a great January and take care namaste bye